Good evening. How are you? Glad to see you once again this evening. Welcome to the Kingdom Cultural Center. I trust that your day went splendid. Mine did. You have, always have challenges, but, you know, shake it off and go ahead. Look, um, today, um, I'm going to share with you something. Uh, turn to your Constitution and um, Matthew, the 6th chapter, and the 33rd uh, verse. And we're going to key off of this one here for the next few minutes. All right? I'm trusting you have it. So some of you have to wait a little while longer. Uh, you don't mind if I have a little coffee, do you? Okay. Uh, Jesus made this statement. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. What things? That's the question. What things? Well, the things he's talking about, all your material possessions, your needs, your wants, your desires, all these things is, is, is engulfed in the concept of the kingdom and seeking his kingdom first. First things first. I used to tease my wife, first things first, quench your thirst. Well, first things first. Seek the kingdom. Seek the kingdom. Seek the kingdom. Not wealth, not stuff, not things, but the kingdom. You know, when you're in a kingdom, the king takes care of his his, his, his subjects, you don't have to worry about anything. You take your, your home, your cars, your money, your food. Um, in other words, don't sweat nothing because he takes care of that. And once you see, once, see, if you got to worry about these things, what it causes is anxiety. And 85% of most illnesses are, is caused by anxiety anxiety. So, keep in mind, the kingdom is what we should always focus on, his word. Now, if you can go through Matthew, just through the book of Matthew alone, you'll find that Jesus spoke about the kingdom more so than anything else. In fact, he told uh, a pilot, let, 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 me, let me take you to John. John 18 and um, mm, uh, 18 and 33. Let's go to John 18 and 33. Should I deal with that? Yeah, 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 yeah. 18 and 33. Uh, in Pilate's court, Jesus was. And uh, let's go to the 33rd verse. Pilate entered the, the, the platonium again, called Jesus, and said to him, as you, are you the king of the Jews? That's what he asked him. Okay. Jesus answered him, Are you speaking for yourself about this? Or did others tell you this concerning me? Question to Pilate. Pilate answered, I am a Jew. Am I a Jew? Question. Your own nation. And the chief priests have delivered you to me. What have you done? The reply. Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, my servants would have fight, would fight so that I should not be delivered to the Jews. But now my kingdom is not from here. Now, if Jesus' kingdom is not from here, I want you to listen to this very well, very closely. And you have accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, then guess what? You're not from here. Once you are born again, your spirit is renewed, is born again, renewed. Born again. You're not from here. Keep in mind, we are spirit. 
And as Jesus told the woman at the well, they that worship you must worship me, worship you must worship me in spirit and in truth. We are spirit. So we shouldn't have the problem. We should never worry about anything. Our main focus is to seek the kingdom, get to know him, get to know his constitution, get to know his word, for he is the word. He said, my word is truth and is life. And, and you know, we have to embrace this. We do some dumb things. We have to embrace it. So I'm going to tell you now, uh, before I leave, I, I just want you to focus on this. Seek first. Seek first the kingdom and his righteousness. And all these other little gizmos, these problems you're thinking about, shall be added unto you. Now I want you to go to the website and look up what is kingdom. And once you do that, uh, we'll talk about that in the next session. You have a nice evening.